Hi, I'm Greg and welcome to Timeless Traveling RVing and today we're going to talk about replacing your Dometic 300 series toilet. And a little background on why we're changing this toilet today. Um, it's the Dometic 300 series toilet. It's a midship toilet um, on the 36H bounder of uh, Fleetwood. We have a bath and a half. So my son, who is three years old, and um, I've talked to you about other things that he's damaged. He was left in the bathroom by himself to go potty, and he thought that the flapper level or the foot pedal, the flush, was like a stick shift, and he just rocked it back and forth and snapped it. So unfortunately, with the 300 series toilets, there's no replacement parts for the ball and the foot pedal guide. So the whole toilet needs to be replaced, and that's what we're gonna talk about today, okay? All right, so, as we said before, this is what happens when you leave your three-year-old in the bathroom with your great 300 series Dometic toilet. Uh, he broke the paddle handle here on this, the flush, the flushing, and the ball doesn't rotate. And unfortunately, with these units, you can't buy replacement parts for them. You have to replace the whole toilet. So that's what we're doing right now. So the first thing that we, I went ahead and did a couple of steps because, you know, it's, it's boring to watch, but the toilet seat, it comes off as normal, just like any other normal toilet seat. And this toilet has two bolts, one on each side. So I, I took the bolts off, right? And then in the back, it's hard to see, but there's a water line. There's a water line back there and it's all disconnected and the unit's ready to come out. All right. So we got that. We take the spout and straight up and off. And that's what it looks like when it's removed. All right, so we pulled our toilet out and we had to do some prepping for the new 300 series toilet. So what I had to do was I had to remove the old vacuum breaker valve and put on the old one from the other toilet because it has a sprayer uh, hose to help you know with the flushing of the toilet system um, so you can get that you can probably get that from the medic for like eighty dollars but i just took it off the old toilet because it was working and um this way i can still have that function all right so now we're going to install it okay so this is the toilet seal and bracket that was assembled in the rv so you know naturally is a good time to clean this area because you know Sometimes you miss and you can't get to it. So now everything's nice and clean. We put our new bracket bolts in place, All right? And now we're gonna take our toilet and drop her in. All right, so the toilet's installed and the bolts are torqued down to um, their specifications and the covers are put in. Uh, we did a uh, leak check. Everything looks good, flush is good. Hose, sprayer works good. All right, so the only thing we have left to do is install the toilet seat. Okay, so I wanted to show you how the toilet seat goes on. So now the bowl is completely installed, no leaks, everything works fine. And now we have the toilet seat cover, you know, the toilet seat. So we're gonna put that in place. These are the bolts for it. It's the typical, uh, residential um, toilet hookup, but with uh, the medic, they come with a, a, a cover, like a decorative cover that goes like this, and it covers the vacuum valve. So you just drop your bolts straight down through the vacuum valve, like that. And then this piece here. This rounded piece goes up against the toilet. So you're just gonna thread that on. And we get a screwdriver. You can use a Phillips or a common screwdriver. So we screw this down. And we get the other one started. Pretty easy. Just like I said, it's just like a residential toilet seat hookup. just a little awkward sometimes 
and then once the rubber grommet on the bottom of the bowl catches, you don't have to hold it anymore really. And you're just going to tighten these down. And then there's two decorative clips that cover the, the screw so you don't see it, the bolt hole. That just snaps in place. Okay, so the toilet is all installed and we put the toilet seat on and like I said the toilet seat goes on just like a standard house toilet seat. I do I do like this toilet seat because it's a it's a gentle close so no more no more when we're driving and I stop short I hear a slam and you know how that is. So once again this is the 300 series Dometic it's a 311 actually uh, Dometic toilet and that's how you do it. All right, just a couple of quick things before I go. Um, when you change your um, anti-siphon valve for the water hookup, it's very easy. There's a black grommet behind the toilet, and you'll, you'll see it in that video. You just kind of like turn it back and forth, and the whole thing pulls right out. There's no glue or sealant needed for that. So I took the old one off because it had the sprayer hose, so it helps to clean the toilet better as well. And that is, you just push it right in. Um, with that, that's it for today. Take your time, check for leaks when you're done. Um, you should be good to go. And what, what did I learn from this? Never leave your three-year-old in the toilet by himself, or at least stand by the door and make sure he's not destroying something. <laughs> so, with that in mind, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and hit that bell down below. This way you know when another new video comes out. And thanks for watching once again. And remember, traveling is timeless. Thanks for watching.